Good afternoon, everyone. Today is March 27, 2021. It is 12.03 p.m. at 79 degrees. And right now I'm just outside Lilio Kalani Gardens. I promise I will walk through, I promise I'll, I'll start walking through sections of Lilio Kalani Gardens next week. It's a, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big botanical garden. Well, it's sizable, it's sizable, I think. It is Saturday morning and people are out, people are out swimming and barbecuing and just, just sort of getting their, getting their Saturday started. Here we've got the Isles Cafe. This is the very first time I've seen it open. How's it? Oh man. And then we've got what looks like uh, Suesan, uh, fish market. It's supposed to have some really, some really fresh catch. So the fish market is actually attached to a to a shipyard and and so I believe they actually I believe they actually contract out uh, contract out private fishers that that can go and fish out in the ocean and then bring fish right back here the poke that they've got is supposed to be it's supposed to be particularly fresh usually people are lined up right outside it just started pouring. It just started pouring. I need to... Give me a moment, guys. I thought we were in the clear. I thought we were in the clear. Give me a sec. Gotta pause it. Okay. Alright. It's lightened up just a little bit. And so we're gonna keep going. But yeah, we've got some people with like kind of small yachts. I think some people. You know what? I'm not entirely sure. I think they just visit their yachts. I don't I don't know that there's anyone here who straight up lives on it lives on the yacht. I guess it I guess it would be possible, but I don't. I don't know that that's the case. And then we have Lava Ocean Tours. Which is basically, if I believe, I believe Lava Ocean Tours is specifically for, specifically for Mauna, Mauna Kea. You know what? It's not specific. It's not. I don't, it's not specific. But the one volcano. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, how's it today? Where are you to? Oh, I'm headed to uh, the fire station. The fire station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care, man. All good.
Yeah, so. People are pretty friendly here. Pretty chill. Not really too, uh, what's the word? Not really too about themselves. We've got someone catwalking. Catwalking across the street right now. <laughs> it is I guess I I guess I I guess I lucked out. I just Oh, I, I, so so what I was saying is that about lava tours about lava tours I believe that Mauna Loa is the only volcano that in recent years has 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 produced eruptions that flow into the ocean. And so and so lava tours this metal boat right here it takes it takes tourists it takes tourists to to go and to go and see to on the water to go and see where where there's lava flowing directly into the ocean. It's supposed to be quite it's supposed to be quite hot. I imagine it's magnificent, but it's supposed to be quite it's supposed to be quite hot. I mean, you're supposed to be able to feel pretty intense heat from a safe from a safe distance. I hear it's the same with the helicopter tours as well. But yeah, we've got a we've got a big dock. We've got a big dock attached to a fish market here. That people are always lined up lined up outside of. It's supposed to have really good poke. I have to find out exactly what poke is for for another for another for another upload, but I'm only familiar with it from having from having eaten it myself. And so I know that it's usually some sort of fish some sort of fish with rice and vegetables, but it's the way that the fish is prepared, I believe. I believe it's I believe it's the, the a combination of the type of fish and the way it's prepared that determines whether it's poke or not. Okay, trying to decide whether to walk close to closer to the water today. I mean, it was It was doing okay and it was doing okay at the in terms of visibility until it started raining. It just got all it just got all misty. We've got USGS right here. Uh, is the U United States Geological Survey? They're the ones that keep track of earthquakes and all that stuff, seismic activity. A lot of boats out on the water today. I'm seeing a lot of sailboats. And what look like uh, what look like uh, teams, maybe like competitive teams. I've never seen I've never seen several boats sort of sort of sail in formation before. So 
several sailboats sail in formation before, so I assume they're part of some kind of team. I've been seeing groups of, groups of groups of kayakers, groups of kayakers, groups of sailboaters, and a little bit of surfing. I feel like more paddle boarding than surfing, just in this particular part of the island. I remember growing up I used to I used to always be amazed whenever I'd see a rainbow and I felt like I growing up in growing up in New York I felt like I, I began seeing them less and less as I got older though more likely I probably just just got as I got older started doing more and more indoor activities like like going to let's say the gym inside instead of going to the park outside But what I didn't realize, what, what I didn't realize the true determining factor was, was, was just rain. It was just rain, like, so, because it rains here so frequently, there's rainbows, there's rainbows all the time. I guess I just bring it up because I usually see I usually see some right along this right along this coast right along Hilo Bay which is which is where we are right now Oh man, it's coming down again. Okay, this was this is unexpected. So, so I, I, when I got here, when I got here this morning, I, I came down to this area early just to go for a swim before work and. The weather was good and probably within an hour of getting out of the water, maybe maybe within a half an hour of getting out of the water, it just started coming down. But I mean that's not really gonna stop you if you're already if you're already in the water swimming or out enjoying things. That's pretty much just how it is here. Just kind of rolling, rolling rain systems, rolling rain systems all the time. So, This one I more or less expect to be gone in an hour. But who knows, it might take two hours.
Looks like they've cleaned up a lot of the debris that that's usually that's usually on the shore. I think maybe they're getting ready for tourists to, to come back. But they sort of piled it up. I don't know if I can really walk. I don't know if I can really walk down there. I mean it's coming down so that means it's gonna be muddy and stuff. The other day I got to have some really good barbecue from a food truck right by this gas station. Right by this gas station. Right by this gas station there's a food truck that only comes Wednesdays. And that is really something I've been adjusting to. Oh. So here's where we just came from, Coconut Island. You can kind of see it in the back. I forget when we started this. Oh, well, we actually started the video in Lilio Kalani Gardens. So we weren't exactly there, but... I am debating whether to go back, go back after work. As long as it doesn't rain too much, then the water remains good for swimming. But the more it rains, the less clear the water is, and the more there's the more there's a difference in temperature in terms of the water being cooler. Uh, you know, let me actually re let me actually take that back about about the temperature. I think the temperature might just be all the time because there's always there's always r river water running running down. Running down into Hilo Bay. Mixing with the the ocean water mixing with the warm the warm ocean water So for anyone who's 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 new that's watching This is the main this is the primary difference between uh, the side of the island that 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 I'm on currently on Hilo and the and the side of the island Where people tend to go on vacation and celebrities buy houses and stuff uh, it's called Kona On Kona there's it, it almost It doesn't really rain. It's mostly sunny. It doesn't really rain too much. But on this side of the island, it rains. And you can see the rain usually helps loosen up any debris that's, that's, that's along the rivers. So any, any pieces that are lodged along the rivers that go up the mountains, that go up, up the volcanoes, usually get dislodged when it rains and they end up washing down into into the water here and so not as many people go swimming right in the heart of the bay 
even though you can see uh, uh, Coconut Island is still well within Hilo Bay and people people swim there but that's about it Apparently there are sharks in this in this territory Rather, rather big ones, I'm told. So. But I honestly feel like, I honestly feel like the most, the most danger that you get, or the most, the most threat that you'll get out of a shark is probably just Having one, having one bump into you. Because it's not able to see where it's going. <laughs> 